maybe didn't work. It had to work. It was a foolproof plan. According to my calculations, discovery should take place just about... Ah! Now. It's a disaster! A disaster, I say! Hank, what's the matter? The big freezer's on the fritz! <gasps> but that means... That's right! The whole semester supply of ice cream is melting all over the floor! Including Principal Prickly's private stash of frozen fudgies! Pull yourself together, man! We'll just have to get that ice cream out of there! And then what, Muriel? You can't just leave a hundred gallons of frozen dessert out in the open! By two o'clock, we'll have a fudge swirl disaster the likes of which this school's never seen! Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, Hank? Perhaps we could be of assistance? Uh, I don't think I could eat another bite. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, what the heck? Hand me that double chocolate swirly. See? I told you guys it would work. You're in big trouble this time, Detweiler. What'd I do? Someone unplugged the big freezer, and that someone is you! But, Miss Finster, I wasn't anywhere near the big freezer. Oh, yeah? Well, explain this! Uh-oh. Come on, Pally. It's the wall for you. How's it going, Teach? Oh, pretty good. The view's not so hot, but at least I got company. Hey, a brick wall's easier on the ice than Finster. <laughs> Look at them, Randall, swarming around their little friend, laughing, joking, as if the wall were no punishment at all. You know, Randall, it occurs to me that as long as children have each other, discipline is impossible. The key is to sever the link to their friends. Break that and you break the child. But how, Miss Finster? I'm not sure, Randall. I need a punishment that's socially isolating, something impenetrable. But what? What? <whistles> All in! Here! Now! It has come to my attention that some of you do not take my playground punishment seriously. You seem to think that getting in trouble is a big joke, a game, as it were. Well, I say the joke's on you, because the rules of the game just changed. Discipline has a new name, and that name is... The Box! Any infraction of any rule, no matter how slight, will result in a trip to the box. Get caught running on the blacktop, go to the box. Take cuts in line, go to the box. Any horseplay, joking around, or unauthorized fun of any kind, the box. No questions asked. Got it? Good. That is all. It's just a bunch of lines painted on the ground. <laughs> yeah, talk about lame. It's Finster's folly. This is big, Randall. Really big. It's gonna make me more famous than Mildred Frisbone. Mildred who? Frisbone, Randall. Frisbone! The teacher who invented detention back in 52. But, Miss Finster, the kids are just laughing at it. Well, they won't be laughing long, Randall. They won't be laughing long. <laughs> Great! T.J. Detweiler, I might have known you'd be the first to test my new punishment. Ten minutes in the box! T.J.'s going to the box! T.J.'s getting the box! The Finster's box, T.J. 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 Have your little fun while you can, Mr. Detweiler, because you're not coming out for ten minutes! As for the rest of you, stay away! Anybody gets within 30 yards of this thing and you'll get detention for a week! Randall, let's leave Mr. Detweiler alone with his thoughts. The box. Big deal. Let's play a little catch. Oh, well, who cares? I'll be out here in a mere... Ten minutes? Yeah, that's okay. I'll just, uh, watch the clouds go by. Yeah, that's it. There's one. Nope, just a bird. Well, I wonder what time it is now. <sighs> I know. I'll just take a little nap. I haven't had a nice nap in a long time. Huh? What? Oh, man, I must have dozed off. Sure hope I'm not late for class. No, this is crazy. Oh, this box is stupid. Just a bunch of dumb lines. In fact, four dumb lines. One, two, three, four. Four dumb lines. Four stupid dumb lines painted on the ground. They're not going to get to me. No, sir, not to me. Look at him. He's like one of those tigers in the zoo. Maybe the box is tougher than we thought. I hope he's going to be all right. Not going to get to me. Not going to get to me. Oh, it's getting to me!
Let him out, Miss Finster. What do you say we give him an extra two minutes? <gasps> That's inhuman! You're a genius, Miss Finster. <laughs> <laughs> this old man, he played too. <laughs> he played knick-knack on my shoe. Had enough, Detweiler? Yeah, so yes, he just had enough. Fine, then you may come out. You promise to be a good little boy and follow my rules my way from now on. Oh, yes, Miss Finster. TJ's good. TJ's a good little boy. Get him out of here! TJ, you made it! You survived! Looking good, buddy. No, no, TJ's looking bad, but he'll be good. Good, good, good. Oh, man, this is bad, you guys. He's really snapped. Hey, this is TJ we're talking about. By tomorrow morning, he'll be fine. TJ's a good boy, good boy, good boy. Here you go, TJ. A nice ravioli. No! What's wrong with him? Don't you see? The ravioli is a square, and the square is a symbol of the box. Ah, the box, the box! But he's got to eat something. Here, have some of my sandwich. Ah! Put it down, Mikey. It's a square. Oh. Detweiler! I've got a little job for you. TJ, help Miss Finster. Get her lunch, clean her shoes. TJ, good boy, good boy. <coughs> Eraser duty. He sunk as low as a kid can get. We gotta do something, you guys, before we lose TJ forever. Maybe if we just never use the word square again. Yeah, right. What are we gonna do? Play four circle? Perhaps we've been going about this all wrong. What do you mean, Gretchen? Well, according to Dr. Freud here, trying to take a person's mind off his fears is just plugged into them. The only cure is to make the person confront those fears. In other words, TJ must go back in the box. <gasps> what? Are you crazy? There's no way TJ will go back in that box. He's scared to death of it. I know one way. What's that, Gretchen? Finster. TJ's a good boy, careful boy. Stays out of trouble. No trouble, no trouble. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. We gotta do it, Vince. It's for his own good. Ready? One, two, three. Hey! TJ Detweiler! Mock me, will you? Back to the box! No, not the box! Not the box! Are you sure this was a good idea? Absolutely. It will cure him completely. Neither that or push him over the edge so that'll be nothing but a blubbering mask for the rest of his life. This old man, he played too. He played knick-knack on my shoe. Hey, mister. Little help? Huh? The ball. Could you throw it to me? Ugh. Dumb fourth graders think they're better than everybody else. But, but, he came in the box. He can't come in the box. Ha! It's just four dumb lines painted on the ground. <laughs> well, Randall, it seems Mr. Spitball's ten minutes are up. What do you say we go release him? Or at least what's left of him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Miss Finster. Ten minutes already? Well, uh, yes, they are. Uh, Great. Then I better get out of here. I got a lot of playing to catch up on. See you later, Finster baby. But, but, you're supposed to be nothing but a blithering jello mold. What, because of that? <laughs> I have to be nuts to be afraid of that. See ya. But my box! My brain tile! It's, it's ruined! Ruined! Poor TJ. He looked so sad when she took him away. I feel like such a traitor. Why did I ever read that stupid Freud? Hey! Anybody up for a little dodgeball? TJ! I'll take that as a yes. You're okay! But of course. We thought we lost you, man. Yeah, listen, TJ. I'm really sorry we got you into trouble. The whole thing was my dumb idea. Ah, eh, forget about it. If you hadn't done that, I'd still be pounding erasers together and polishing Finster's shoes. So you're not mad? Hmm, heck no. You guys were right. Sometimes the only way to get over your fears is to face them head on. Fact is, I couldn't get out of the box until I went back in. My box! My box! My beautiful box! <laughs> See you later, Miss Feinster. A lot later. <laughs> 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 <laughs>